Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be testing the lights that I previously uh, posted on a video. Uh, the strobe lights, they're, they're new, uh, so I'm giving it a test. And I'm going to be shooting uh, this bottle. It's a beer bottle. I'm going to be doing like a product, product photography. See, I'm shooting with a Canon 5D Mark III. Uh, I have the three, I have three lights set up. I have um, two lights right here in front, which what I want is I want to get a uh, rim light on this side of the bottle and rim light on this side of the bottle. So we're going to do that first. Let's turn on the lights first, the strobes. Make sure they're all on. Okay, so let me see, uh, let's just turn off the background light first, let's just deal with the, with the rim light of the bottle. Okay, so the settings on this, uh, I have a, a 1, 125 uh, of a second, F13, and the lowest ISO that you can put the uh, Canon 5D Mark III. It's uh, the letter L. Let me see, let me take the test shot right now. Oh, and also the lights, the strobe lights are at the, at the lowest, uh, lowest capacity, which is uh, 10. That's the number that it has on the back, so. Let's start. Oh, it's beautiful. But I'm seeing that light. Well, I can crop it later on. Seen this light there? I just crop it later. Um, I like that, but let me know what I'm gonna give it a little more power. It's a 10, let's go at 20. Let's go 10 more. 20. Let's put this one at the same 20. Let's take a shot. That's better. And as you can see, I just took this out of the fridge. So it's, uh, you can start seeing the condensation on it. Okay, I'm gonna bring it up a little more. Put it at 25, 25 over here. Again, this is the newer, uh, N300W uh, lights, strobe lights. Let's take a shot. I like that. I think I'm gonna bring this back a little because I think it's not this, at the same distance because it's giving me a little more light on that right side. Still on the shot. Let's bring it out again more. No, it's good. Bring it in a little more. Let me see if it's at the same distance. Oh, it's right here, okay. I wanna keep them at the same distance, the same line as well. Okay, I have it. So I like this. I have rim light on both sides. Um, you know what? I am gonna bring. I'm gonna bring the light down a little bit because it's affecting the background. I'm gonna put it on 20. It's bringing up light on the background. All right. Also, I'm gonna move this a little more. Pointing this way, so it's not so much. It's not going to the background. See. Bring this in more. Okay, I'm gonna take a shot. There you go, that's better. All right. 
So we have the rim light, which I love. Now what we're gonna do is bring the background light. I have a snoot on and it has a red gel on it. Put this back here. So let's turn this on. This is my background light. I will put this at 60. And I wanna make sure that that red light is coming. You know what? I want, it's not in the position that I want it. I wanna bring it up and pointing it down. I don't want a circle. I want kind of like a, I want a, a strip of light. I want like the light to go down like this. Uh, let's take a test shot. Oh, that's beautiful. But I still don't want that light. I want it down more. Uh, let's bring it down a little bit. That's better. I want it a little bit more down. So let's bring it down. Let's see. Oh, that's beautiful. Perfect. That's what I want it. Still looking like a circle. So I think if I bring it back a little more. Let me see. Let's take a shot now. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna bring it forward a little bit. There you go. Let's take a shot now. I like that better. Let me see compared to the other ones. It's pretty similar to the first one. But you know what? I like it. I like it a lot. And I like how it, it some of that red light, it washes into um, the, where the light, where the bottle is. It's like a little red there. That's great. I just need to light the the logo. So let's get this. Bring this slow. And let's bring this up. I'm gonna bring it up to like a 40. This goes, this lights go from 10 to 60. That's the power. Okay, so all right, so the logo is the logo is uh, exposed correctly and we are done all right so now i'm gonna put the bring the two images uh the one with rim light and the one that i just took that it's uh lighting up the logo and i'm gonna blend them in uh, photoshop and come up with the finished product so let's go to photoshop okay so first i brought the photos in uh, lightroom just gonna crop them real quick I'll make it for Instagram, one-to-one -one ratio. Right All right. Uh, what else? Let me make the other one the same. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open both of them in Photoshop. Okay, both of them are open in Photoshop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this one because I'm going to use um, this, the logo in here and this one and put it in this one. 
So I'm gonna grab this photo, bring it here, we drop it. We have two layers here. I'm gonna make a layer from the background. All right. So you see we have both photos there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is uh, I will want this one on top and I'm gonna add a layer mask here. Uh, I'm gonna bring the opacity down so I can see the other bottle and see if they're perfectly aligned. And they are. Yeah, they're perfectly aligned, so I'm not gonna have any problems. Um, if if they're not perfectly perfectly aligned, what you want to do is you bring down the, the opacity and then you just move them and align them. It's easier for you to do that by bringing the opacity down. Okay, so I'm gonna choose the the brush tool. Let's make this a little bigger, uh, a little bit bigger. That's fine. Harness all the way down. And we're gonna choose the layer mask and we're gonna start painting. We paint like this, bring that logo out, but without touching the rest. Let me zoom in here. There you go. And I'm gonna do a quick job. If you want to perfect it, you know, take a little longer. There you go. There you go. So bring that logo out. And what I also want to do is um, I want to bring this out too. Not much. Just I just want to like a little hint of light there. That's all. Let's see how it looks. I like that. That is cool. And that's it. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Mauricio Marino, a photographer based in New York City. And if you want to keep watching videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for the next one. All right, see you guys later.